Hello, welcome to episode 18. So today we'll go over processes and procedures. So first of all, um, one of the things I always think about is if I am not available or I go on a trip or um, you know something comes up, will, will my operations um, continue operating? So another thing to think about is uh, like a McDonald's, right, or any franchise, right? Every role usually has processes and procedures in place, so they don't necessarily need a point person to always ask questions about. They can always refer to documentation or steps. So uh, we, what we have in our organization is something called an SOP. Uh, stands for Standard Operating Procedures. So within the SOP, you have obviously the title, a description, um, a goal of the purpose of the SOP. Then you have pretty much prereq. So what access or what I need to be able to perform this SOP. Then finally, the steps of the SOP, and uh, and, and then FAQs. So maybe these steps. There's there's a lot of uh, frequently asked questions, particularly on walking through these steps and over time the FAQ piece adds up. So that way um, there shouldn't be any major questions when a task or um, an assignment is, is assigned to someone uh, and also it allows for improvement when the steps are written down for uh, uh, in documentation. So hope that helps. Uh, let me know if, if you have your own version of your SOP. Um, please share it down below. Thanks. Bye.